going on, aliens? I'm Mike Rosa, and welcome to day nine of my 30 days of dumbbell workouts at home for pecs, delts, and them traps. We're getting them gains together every single day. Now, this workout, we're going to be hitting that chest. The intervals are set up as 90 seconds high intensity, followed by 20 seconds of rest, and repeated for a nine-minute routine. We'll be generating these workouts using my app, Exercise, and I will screen record so you can see exactly how my app works on the screen itself, and there'll be a QR code so you can directly scan that QR code, and it'll download my app, Exercise for free from the App or Play Store. The point of generating the workouts with my app is a different workout every single day. We're taking advantage of randomization and have multiple levels of intensity increases to ensure we have progression to make sure you're getting them gained out of this world. You need to have progression in order for your body not to adapt and you to keep on seeing results. That is such an important element in programming and I already pre-planned that in for you over these 30 days and also each week is optimized per focus area so that chest, those delts, and those traps, you'll notice you don't repeat that same focus area without resting at least 24 hours in between. And even if you're doing my late day at home program, my 30 days of abs at home program, you notice it is the same style where I don't repeat the same focus area area without resting at least 24 hours in between and that's how I have the leeway of saying I'm not training the exact same muscle every single day because I don't believe that's optimal but I do believe that you can pinpoint specific areas and increase specific volume to target those areas and more optimally develop and build those specific focus areas so that's my theory and it's really been working for me over these 30 days these are the only workouts I'm doing for these 30 days for these muscle group focuses and then I do my other normal training but these are the focus areas that I'm really paying attention to every single day. So I'm really curious, aliens, leave a comment about your results. I'd love to hear some feedback. But let me stop talking so much. And real quick before I do, make sure to head over to my website, anabuckinix.com, and check out all of my full workout programs, at-home programs, double-only programs, barbell-only programs, kettlebell-only programs, resistance-only programs, and I also do one-on-one -on -one training. Whatever you need, aliens, I got you, anabuckinix.com, and I also release blogs weekly. Check it out. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> now let me generate this workout, aliens. We're hitting that chest, 9 to 20 intervals, 9 minutes. <sighs> this is going to be brutal. Open up, exercise. Muscle groups, that chest. Equipment availability, dumbbells and body weight. And then intervals, 90 seconds high intensity. That is a freaking long time of high intensity, but we're pushing it because we're aliens. And then 20 seconds of rest and workout length, 9 minutes. Let me generate the workout. Aliens are starting on the ground with an alternate and reverse floor press. Grab those dumbbells, we're gonna get right into it. Woo! Let's go! Three. On the ground. One. Go. Reverse grip. Alternate. All the way down, all the way back up. Don't come down until the other arm is all the way back up. And if you need a little extra stability, meaning your stabilizers aren't quite developed yet, you can do it the other way, we're having both arms on the ground and alternating and not coming up until the other arm is back down. So try to have it fully extended if you can. Come out wide with that elbow. Come on, aliens, push! As many reps as you can. Half time. And the palms are facing you. It is a reverse grip. And that is intended to more optimally target that upper chest. Remember, come out wide with that elbow. Keep that reverse grip. Squeeze that chest. At the top of the rep, you should be flexing your chest as hard as you can. That stabilizer having to hold up that dumbbell is requiring a lot of tension. Flex that pec. Your legs can be fully out or up, doesn't matter, whatever is comfortable to you, just focus on that chest. Squeeze, aliens. Three, two, one, rest. <sighs> Relax, shake it out, 20 seconds of rest, and we're going to two, the standing upward fly. <sighs> All right, so palms forward, coming from a wide angle. Top up and meeting in the middle, this squeezing. Standing upward fly. Squeezing that chest with the Three. dumbbells pushed together in front of you. One. Next. So come up, squeeze, pause forward the whole time. Another upper chest focus, but when you're meeting those dumbbells together in the middle, I want you to squeeze your inner chest as hard as possible. Push those dumbbells together in the front and then come back out wide. 
Let's get it, aliens. <sighs> fight that fatigue. You're gonna burn quick. You gotta fight that burn. It is supposed to burn. <sighs> I'm using 15 pound dumbbells and my chest is already getting tight. <sighs> Half time. <sighs> Come on. Keep pushing. Shake it up when you need it, aliens. I don't care how many rests you take. Shake it up quick, get back at it, finish strong, do better the next time. It is all about that progression. And progressional methods. Increasing weight, increasing reps, limiting excess rest. So those quick shakeouts, those are excess rest. As you get more reps, you may need more shakeouts. But as you focus on less shakeouts, now you may be getting more reps. And it goes back and forth. <laughs> Three, two, two, one. Rest. Uh, drop those dumbbells, shake it out. We're going to the rocking push up now. So, this is a push up variation, and you're gonna start hitting that lower chest with this exercise. You're pushing Next backward. Rocking push up. Upper chest. Inner chest, middle chest, all aspects of your chest get hit hard. Let's go. Rocking push up. So you're coming forward and rocking back. So when you're coming forward, create a little bit of a decline of your body and then push back through the chest. A little bit of that decline. You see, my body's a little bit of an upper right position and then you're pushing back through that chest. Let's get it, Elliot! Fight that burn. Shake it up when you need it. Half time. And get back at it. If you need a modification, you can always do these on your knees as well. Let's go! Push, fight that burn with me. My chest is freaking firing right now. Woo, I love it. All the way down. And push back. Explode and squeeze. Let's get it. Five more. Take it out, Elliot. We are going to Around the World Flies. Really take advantage of these 20 seconds of rest. In your nose, out your mouth with that breathing. Next up, Around the World Fly. All right. Three, two. Around the World Fly. Next. Start here, really. We're gonna go now around the world and over the head. Come up just like this. And back down. Come all the way back, and then up, and then back the other way. Woo! Let's get it, squeeze aliens. Coming down over the head, coming out to the side, arms are up, squeezing the chest, coming all the way down to the bottom, and lifting up, pushing those dumbbells together, squeezing that inner chest. Control, and squeeze. How many reps can you get, aliens? Let's go. Half time. Fight that fatigue. All the way out, keep the arm up. Over the head and come back up. You notice I'm not coming too far forward. I'm keeping it tight, keeping all those muscles engaged. Squeeze, come on. Do better than me, aliens. Let's go. If it was easy, everyone would do it. We don't want easy. Let's get them games. All the way out, every rep. Keep those arms up. Squeeze. Three. Come on. Two. One. Rest. Drop those dumbbells. That one is freaking killer, aliens. We are going to the alternating wide floor press now. So instead of that reverse grip, we're keeping the regular grip. 
Next stop, alternating wide floor press. And coming out wide with that elbow. Three, two, one. Keep the arms up if you can. Come out wide with that elbow. Squeeze that chest. Then as many reps as you can. Remember, as you hold that arm up, you're not just stabilizing that arm up. You're flexing the hell out of that pack. Squeeze. Mentally engage. Let's get them games. Last one of this routine. Remember, you're coming up wide with that elbow. Keep squeezing, aliens. Let's go. Squeezing and controlling. Fight that burn. We have time. Now, if you're a typical gym goer and you're like, this doesn't feel that heavy, I normally bench a lot of weight, try to speed up the reps. Increase your own intensity. You can get better and better. I don't care what experience level you are, I don't care what you're used to. Make your exercise intense, be serious, get mentally engaged, you will get results. Push, increase that intensity, keep that form though. Keep squeezing. Squeeze the hell out of that chest. That arm up. That pec better be flexed. We're almost done, Elite. Three more seconds. Two, one. Ah, let's go. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Click that notification bell. Right next to subscribe so you don't miss a new video uploads for me. I'm uploading every freaking day. I appreciate all of your support so much. Make sure to leave a comment if you're following along. I will be going through all of the comments. I want to know how them gains are coming in. Let me know how you like this series so far. We're getting better every single day together. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.